Welcome to Quick Poker, everybody. I'm Frank Carlino. You might know me as Breslin if you play on Global Poker. In my opinion, the best poker content on YouTube is David K. Poker. I'm going to tell you why right now. Because he plays one table at a time. You can see the entire screen. And he talks out his thought process. So, that's what we're going to do. And we're off. I'm going to fold this. Open the button. Try to take down the blinds. Gonna go with a half pot bet. Gonna definitely take the free card. Short stacks are gonna stack off with any ace. And we're gonna lose this hand. He'll probably lead now and we'll fold. He has eight four. That's interesting. Flop a couple of hearts. I'm just gonna lead. Expect to lose this hand too. Uh, seven might be good, and I'm out of position, so I'm going to size up a bit because I'd rather just get the fold. Threes or take it down. Had to make my face smaller because I was blocking this player. I'm going to raise the jack eight suited. They'll suspect I'm um, trying to steal the blinds, but they fold anyway. We'll take it. Limp pot. I'm in the small blind. I like that turn. No reason to believe anyone has an ace, but if they have a nine... They probably have a better kicker, so this is a bit of a defensive bet. And then we got a straight. So I think this is a bet folding situation. I mean, I think 10s are definitely raising me. So I think I could go about half pot and fold to a raise. Let me know if you disagree. And he just calls with a 10. So we lose that one. I deserve that for, you know, limping in the small blind. So we got a very... um tight table here so we're gonna think about changing tables it's probably gonna check around so i'm just gonna lead hopefully somebody has a six it'll probably just fold 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 and we take it down okay so i don't want to check here plenty of straight draws he's never gonna believe i have a seven i'm gonna bet i mean he's never gonna believe i have a six if he has a seven he's gonna get sticky if he has a six we're gonna win anyway Pocket sevens are losing too. If I check, he's just going to check back. Protect against eight, nine. Okay, so he bets again. So this is a very interesting card, the ten of spades. I'm not really worried about a flush, but I was worried about eight, nine. Um, so I think we can actually think about this for a sec. I think we should make a bet that gets called by a seven. And uh, if he raises, that's very interesting. But I think 120 is a good size here. And he calls. So let me know if you agreed with how I played that. I think if I checked, he would have definitely checked back. Got an ace king here. Uh, definitely looking at three bet DMAC, even though he's been playing well and tight. I mean, if you're not three betting ace king, just, just go home. So let's see how he responds. I think his four bet range is still pretty tight. He's been playing well. Um, he could four bet and fold me off What if, if he has ace king. All right, so we take it down. Definitely going to play the ace jack suited here. Coming for a raise. David just lost a mildly large hand, so he might be a little tilted. Chuck Anderson's a good player. And uh, see, now I don't really want to. Uh, bet because I don't think I get called by worse, but I don't really want to check because of the draws. But I'm going to bet about 105, hoping to take it down. So ace nine now has to be beat. Ace 10 is a hand that slow play ace queen could beat me. Uh, that's a terrible card. Let's see what he does here against 263. He raises all in. I'm just going to call him. 